coffee is always first. Uh, this is Tariq from SmartBikeTrainers.com and this is where I talk about smart bike trainers in everything indoor training related and sometimes coffee. Uh, last week we talked about how to do FTP testing using Zwift and we talked about a little bit about erg mode and if you want to watch that video I'll link to it up here and uh, but today we are going to talk about how to do FTP testing and control your trainer using your Garmin Edge or Wahoo Fit or Wahoo Element. And I know you want to watch the full video, but in case you cannot, I'm going to show you where to skip to the your specific device. With that, let's uh, start with Trainer Road. So in Trainer Road, once you log in, you will see the 20 minute FTP test. And uh, there's also um, eight minute FTP test. You can just do a search. So you can just do a search under training and uh, go to workout. And you can just, I'm just gonna type in FTP. So here they have the standard uh, 20 minute and eight minute test. So if you do the uh, 20 minute test, uh, this is where uh, you will be instructed throughout the workout uh, on how to do it. And uh, once you start, it will be in erg mode and you can see the intensity level here uh, at the bottom. And once you, uh, it will be in erg mode until you hit the five minute and 20 minute section, it will switch to uh, resistance mode. The nice thing about uh, doing uh, the FTP test with Trainer Road is you will see the uh, all the instructions here below. It will uh, take you through the test and uh, basically gives you everything that you uh, expect to see. And uh, now we're getting ready to enter the first FTP uh, Test section, the five minute section. So now, as you're doing the first section of the FTP test, uh, trainer road switches to slope resistance mode and it's not going to be controlling your trainer any longer. Uh, however, if you want to adjust the resistance of the trainer, you can just go in here and switch it to resistance mode. And actually, as you see here, it's just, it changed to standard. So you can just, uh, and it put you on three to nine. Uh, so you can just move this slider uh, right to left to adjust the resistance. Okay, so so with the Garmin Edge, this is a Garmin Edge 520, but uh, any Garmin Edge should uh, have the same or similar uh, menu. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the Wahoo Kicker or any trainer is paired to your Garmin and your trainer has to be ANT FEC compatible. Uh, and when you when you pair your trainer, uh, just make sure, I'm just gonna go to the, you can go to the connecting and make sure you have added as a trainer, otherwise it's not gonna work. So just go into indoor trainer and add it. And I already added my kicker, so I it's paired already as you see and my kicker is already paired here. And so we're just gonna go and do the FTP test. Now, Garmin Edge does come with uh, an FTP test already uh, loaded in there. And to get to the FTP test, just click on the uh, arrow down to go to the menu and go to my stats. And you will see an FTP, click on that. And uh, you can enable auto calculation. I have it disabled here and the default is 200 watts. I don't think I've set my FTP in here, but you can uh, run the FTP test here. Uh, ignore this menu. You don't need to enter any uh, FTP goal uh, and nothing's gonna really, it's not gonna affect your training anyway. So just click on the uh, back button and it, you will see now the FTP test steps and you can browse through it if you wanna see what each steps entail or you can just click on start the ride by uh, hitting the uh, menu button or the enter button. And once you are here, uh, the first thing is uh, just you're just gonna go through the warm up, 20 minute warm up, and hit that start button, and uh, you are on your way to your FTP test. As you're doing the FTP test uh, and uh, you wanna adjust the resistance of your trainer. All you need to do is, uh, you can navigate through the pages here that you have set up 
by, by hitting the up and down arrows. And if you want to adjust the resistance, you just need to press the uh, enter button here and set resistance. And you here you'll be able to adjust the resistance. You can increase it, decrease it by 10%. If you don't see this option, the set resistance option, all you need to do is go back to the menu and uh, you go back to the menu by hitting the arrow down button and go back to training and go to indoor trainer and you will see the set resistance option in here and you are this is where you can adjust it and once you do that the first time the next time you are in uh, your, your training uh, and you hit the enter button here you will you should be able to, you should see it so this is a quick way to just get into that resistance and adjust it and uh, adjust it and just once you hit that menu button it will take you back to the training screen so now on to the Wahoo element. Uh, the first thing we uh, want to do with the Wahoo element is make sure that it is connected to the kicker and we can control everything using the Wahoo element app. So let me uh, let's go ahead and open that. So to start, if we wanna start the FTP test, go here and you'll see the eight minute and 20 minute FTP test. Click on the 20 minutes, select workout plan, and boom, it's loaded on here. And we can start the workout. And here we go. So, this is the FTP test you're seeing the whole workout in here. And if you want to skip to a certain section, uh, we can do it. So now in here you can also, if you go, I think I need to be pedaling, but uh, yeah, once you start pedaling, you will see uh, different modes. So let me let me uh, ride the, let me get on the bike and start pedaling. All right, so once you start pedaling, you will see a button here, a uh, selection here for mode, and if you click on it, you will see uh, you can select whatever mode you want. Your element will control the kicker until you hit that 20 minute section. But if you wanna change that, you can select on mode and you can change it to a level mode or resistance mode. And uh, here you can just adjust it. Take it down, up, down uh, to adjust the resistance to whatever you feel like. And then you can just use the, the shifters on your bike to uh, increase, decrease resistance or just come in here again and just adjust the resistance. So this is it, this is how you do it on the Wahoo Element uh, or Element Bolt. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and also make sure you subscribe and hopefully uh, you will ace your next FTP test. If you have any question, let me know in the comments section and or if you think I missed anything uh, or if you have any other tips or ideas, uh, please let me know as well and I will see you next time.